Hello and welcome to another Daily Shave with West Coast Shaving. My name is Jack and I'm very happy to be here with you guys today. What I'm going to be using is Soap Commander Passion and the matching Aftershave Splash. So I've got it loaded up on a brush here, as you can see. My brush of choice, um, ignore the, the lather on the side here. This is a That Don Rob with a Turn and Shave V3 tip knot. Let me wet my face and We'll get into the video. Okay, let's add any uh, loose soap here. I did lather, well, preload, to save a bit of time. So in the essence of time, let's get on with it. Okay, um, the way I would describe the scent of this soap, is very very masculine uh it's difficult to say it smells of teak wood or cardamom to be honest the way i would describe it is this is a masculine scent i don't think there's anyone that dislikes this scent let's get to lathering up here i loaded my brush for about i'd say about 40 seconds that tends to be my average load here the soap in my experience is incredibly easy to work with uh, one of the easiest to work with. In fact, this is a vegetable based soap. So if that sort of thing matters to you, there is that. I'd say the scent strength on this is about a six. A high six, low seven. It's very, it's present. to say the least. I mean, I can easily smell it as I lather the soap here. Like I said, it's very, very easy to work with. And I'm, I'd be surprised if there's many of you that haven't tried Soap Commander yet. If you haven't, I really do suggest, like recommend it. It's a good, very good soap. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and give you a good shave. Okay, um, we can add a bit more water here. So like I've, you've probably seen in previous videos, I kind of like to sprinkle the water on the brush. It's a fairly arbitrary amount of water. I don't quite know how much I'm adding, but it's not ever going to be too much where it can be an issue of overhydration, so. Very nice. Like I said, very easy to work with. You get some finicky soap bases. This really is not one of them. This will just lather up like a dream in my experience. So what I, who I recommend this soap to, firstly is everyone if you haven't tried it, but I would recommend this soap to people that are currently using the mass produced soaps, don't get me wrong, they're good as well. You know, the Parasos, the Cellas, uh, it's a cream but tear of old Bond Street. If you want to take a dive into the artisan market, this soap um, provides fantastic value. I believe it's six ounces. Yes, it is, it's six ounces there, if you can see that. Very good value for what you get. And I would say it's a pretty obvious step up in performance. So, I would definitely bear that in mind if you're looking to slightly upgrade your shaving routine. So I would say this is the densest or highest structure lather. And what I mean by high structure is, um, I found that more traditional shaving soaps, like, uh, like I said, the Parasos, the Cellas, they're pretty high structure in the sense that I, I think the lather is quite airy. I mean, this is a good lather, as you can see. It's giving me hydrated peeps, but nothing too much. Okay, I actually think we're good for the most part. So let's tidy up a bit and uh, we'll get to shaving, which is, I imagine, what you're all here for. Okay. <clears throat> 
very nice. Okay, let's get into our first pass then. So my razor of choice today is a safety razor that's fairly close to my heart. This is the Christopher Bradley razor in aluminum uh, or aluminium if you're English. This is using the SBB plate and inside this I have a second use Gillette Nasa. So the first thing that always um, I guess comes to the fore when I use this soap is it's, it's very slick. as is most things nowadays, to be completely honest. But I would say it's very, very easy to work with. So this is the sort of soap I use. When I'm in a rush. It does a fantastic job, not too finicky. It has quite a wide hydration band in regards to water, what I mean by that is the amount of water it can tolerate. It's quite high, it can take quite a lot of water, or it can take quite little water. It really depends on how you like your lather. This razor really is a dream to shave with. It's very light. Fantastic. The soap is providing fantastic slickness. All that you would want from a shave soap. The scent is very prevalent on my face still. I can smell it quite a lot. So if you're into that sort of thing, this would really be something for you. Let me uh, wash off my face and we'll get lathering again for past two. So the slickness here is definitely, I'd say it's a bit, bit above adequate. Um, by adequate, I mean just enough to get the shave done. It's, it's way better than that. Um, it's still a very slick soap. Definitely good enough to give yourself a good shave. Let's lather up. See if it can take any more water. Yep. For me, that's also a sign of a good soap. So on my second or third lathers, if, that, if I do a third pass, I'm not looking for volume. I am solely looking for slickness and this is more than adequate to give me ample amounts of slickness here. And like I said, if you want the soap, isn't going to break the bank and performs very well. You don't really need to look much further than this. Provides sufficient, more in fact above sufficient, amount of protection and slickness. Very nice. That, I wouldn't be able to say if there's any scents similar to this, it's pretty different. But the way I would describe it, as I said, is masculine and it's a, it's a very nice scent. It reminds me a bit of a, a cologne. Uh, very, very nice. Okay, so um, the shave is done here. No pickups, very no-nonsense shave today, guys. 
So I'm gonna get the loose soap out of the brush here and we're gonna create a face wash like I always do. So as you can see, very well hydrated, really nice peaks. So the reason I do this is I feel we have a lot of fantastic ingredients in our soap. Why not use, use the soap as a face wash? You know, stretch those ingredients a bit further. So let me wash this off my face and we're gonna get into the poche. Fantastic. Very nice, okay. So our post shave today, guys, that I showed you is the Soak, the Matching Soap Commander Passion Splash. Few things about this. Um, this is what I would call a kind of a more traditional splash. There is alcohol in this, so you will get a bit of alcohol burn. Something I do like about this is, I guess the alcohol in it isn't prevalent in regards to scent. It's, it's still pretty much in the background. Although you do get a burn, you also get the benefit of the good scent as well. The thing that sets this apart from a lot of other aftershaves, you won't be able to see this, but this is a fairly unique bottle. And the reason this is a unique bottle is because it's made, like I'm giving you a considerable amount of force here, it's made of non-slip material. So if your hands are wet, like mine are here, it's still very, very grippy. And I, I didn't notice that before, but it's something I've noticed fairly recently and I think that is very, very cool. You can use this stuff pretty liberally. If you don't want to use this stuff liberally, you can pretty much use as much as you want. It's not the sort of thing that has diminishing returns. It has some good ingredients in it. It has some natural fit skin food ingredients, but it is more in the vein of a traditional aftershave. I would like to say that the alcohol burn, given you've had a fairly average shave, nothing too irritating, is subtle. And the aftershave itself leaves you feeling, I guess, extremely well hydrated after the shave. It's obviously an astringent in regards to the alcohol, so that does the job too. Yeah, all around fantastic shave today, guys. That is my shave today, and let me go over what I've used. Okay, so these are, these are the items I've used. My soap of choice today, as you saw, was Soap Commander Passion. My razor of choice was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, made with aluminum 7075, fantastic. My brush was the That Don Rob slash Turn and Shave Goblet of Fire, this is called. And to finish off my shave was the Soap Commander Passion Matching Splash. All of these products are available via West Coast Shaving, aside from the brush, which is an artisanal brush, and I think they'll get the razor eventually. We'll wait and see. Apart from that, my name is Jack. Have a lovely weekend.